Throughout history, people have had strong desires to fly, but only during the early 20th century did aviation become a reality. From the beginning of powered flight to today's major industries of agriculture, transportation, and national defense, aircraft have become an important part of our way of life. The first time a plane was utilized for agricultural purposes was in 1921, when two United States Army pilots applied insecticide to Ohio's catalpa trees, which were infested with moths. These trees were used to make the telephone and telegraph poles that were being installed across the country. The catalpa trees were saved through agricultural aviation, and people noted that applying insecticide dust by air was safer and far outperformed previous methods of control. Shortly thereafter, converted military aircraft were enlisted to treat cotton for bull weevil infestations in the southern states. This treatment also proved to be successful, and the use of aircraft in agriculture gradually spread west across the Great Plains and the coastal valleys. Before and after World War II, planes used to spray crops were either civilian or military aircraft that were modified and equipped to apply liquid or dry materials. Production of an aircraft designed specifically for agricultural use did not occur until 1950. In the early days, aerial applicators were known as crop dusters because they worked with dry chemicals. The crop dusters of yesterday are known as agricultural pilots, ag aviators, or aerial applicators today because they apply mostly liquid products to control pests and diseases, fight forest fires, and provide nutrients for American agriculture.